All right, welcome back to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Now I'm gonna return to the tune Bridges Full of Stitches and show you some variations you can add to it. If you don't already know the tune, I'll put a link to a basic version video in the comments field below. And uh, without further ado, I'm just gonna play it and then we'll go through it phrase by phrase and I'll show you what I added to the basic version without going into much detail on the basic version because I'm going to assume you know that already. All right, so here's the whole thing, my version. I'm going to do two A's, two B's. so on. Okay, so the first phrase, I guess I could start by saying that um, this tune's an A, so you couldn't be really good at your A major scale, and also your A double stop scale, that's what I call when you play like an A scale, but you're droning either the A or the E string. So the notes on the A, you'd be droning E, and the notes on the E, you'd be droning A. Full video for that, I'll put a link to in the comments field, but I, I use this double stop scale a ton. And there's a lot, with fiddle music, there's a lot of, a lot of times you can just drone an open string because the tunes are in G, D, or A. So there's, that, the, 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 there's just a lot of opportunity for that. Um, but you wanna be careful with variations. You don't wanna clutter the tune too much. You still wanna hear that sweet melody shine through. So what we'll do is we'll, I'll give you some ideas, some suggestions, and then we'll see what it sounds like without it, and then go back and forth. And I encourage you to whatever variations you come up with on your own, to constantly ask yourself if it's making it better or worse maybe. It might make it worse, and, or maybe you just want it to be different every time. I don't know. So these are just suggestions. Here we go. So that's the basic version. Um, if you're added double stops. You could also add um, more sparing double stops, like maybe on downbeats. or less even. I think that sounds good. So now I'm gonna not do double stops and add other things. Or how about... So that's a mordant I'm adding to this note. So we have first finger, and I'm adding an additional one, two, really quick. You could make it more of a 16th note triplet do. Let me cycle that. Or with 16th note triplets, you could speed them up and they become mordants, kind of more like grace notes or trills. I'll put video links to, um, I have specific videos for mordants and for 16th note triplets. It's just a matter of how fast or slow, but um, the 16th note triplets fit into the rhythmic scheme more too. You would actually write them out. If you're familiar with music notation, you would write them out and they would take up um, time in your bar. All right, so I'm just gonna play th that addition. Or as a mordant. Now I'm gonna do it with double stops. Again. Again. 
16th note triplet. And so, there's, I'm, I'm gonna give you a bunch of video links. Hold on, kitty, I'm not done with the video yet. Did I just sound mean to him? I'm really nice to him, don't worry. I feed him all day long. He's got me well trained. So I was gonna say, another technique in addition to the mordants and um, 16th note triplets, uh, I'll give you a link to a video for adding double stops in like rhythmic ways like so that's if you practice just that you may just get the idea you may not even need the other video it's just find ways to add them the double stops more sparingly but as a rhythmic accent stuff like that so Now it's the, the uh, mordant. And I did a slide here. That sounds nice, right? So the stuff I've just showed you on this first quarter, I just do a lot more of the same throughout and throughout all the variations I do. So um, anyhow, practice that a lot. Maybe pause, really absorb that before moving on. All right, so the next phrase, the second quarter. So you could also add a mordant. Or a 16th note triplet there. I also like to add another eighth note, like. And then add double stops. Maybe more sparingly. And when I slide on this too, I can slide with the open A droning. You can practice anything in a loop. Anything you need work on. Don't be like, you know, playing the whole tune the whole time. That'll get you nowhere. Just stick with one little bit. Each of these tunes is just packed with exercises and fun things. It's like an amusement park in every tune. Third quarter, same as the first, so I'm not gonna go over it. Fourth quarter. Basic version. with embellishments. 16th note triplet on D, two, three, two, one. And you can do the mordant there. Um, okay, double, do, add double stops. So I'm going to app slowly play through my variations for the A part. Let me try that again. Sometimes those mordants are just a rhythmic clutter. There's less, they just sort of happen quickly. And sometimes it's not even tonal. You barely even hear the tone that happens so quick. Moving on to the B part. I do one thing kind of different than a, just a melodic addition. Otherwise it's the same sorts of ideas I added to the A part. So here's the basic of the first quarter of the B part. So, adding double stops. 
actually it's the basic was then you could add a same idea as the A part Then on the second quarter, I do something just a little bit more melodic departure. I just came up with that, but I really liked it. And then you could add embellishment in the same place after. And that could be a, a mordant as well. And you could add double stops. Ending on a slide. Third quarter, same as the first. And fourth. Uh, I think I also did like a lead into the so the the beginning is first quarter is so um I think I did a little like pick up with just like sixteenth notes so on. This little thing I added, one idea you could do is to not do it the first B part and do it in the second B part. I'm just thinking, almost, hold on just a second Katie, I know it's, you're hungry and it's lunch time. A very important video here, it's very, very important. Um, anyway, well that's about all the time I have for this I think. I'm just going to play the B part I th I've already played it enough, but I'm going to play it once slowly so you can really hear it and then say so long, see you next time. There will be links to other, the specific techniques that I've talked about, I'll put links to those in the comments field below. And uh, this has been fun. I have learned a lot just by doing this for the last 20 minutes or however long it's going. Thanks a lot and I'll see you soon. B part. <laughs>